All right, we were hanging out on the Superstar, at the bottom of the Superstar lift, right on the road. I met up with some uh, great folks that are enjoying themselves here in Kellington. I'm just going to get down here a second. This is uh, one of my peeps from Connecticut right here. I'm from Glastonbury. You're from? Wolkett. Wolkett. So, uh, first of all, let me, I'm rude. Let me uh, introduce myself. I'm Dave, and you are? Tim. Tim. So, uh, and over here is? Donna. Donna. So, we got Tim and Donna. We're going to make our way around the group. You guys are? Uh, Coming up from Connecticut, you guys come up a lot every weekend. We, uh, what do we do? Not as much as they do. I'm just up for the day, actually, heading back tomorrow. But uh, enjoy them while I'm here. You picked a great day. It's, uh, it's spring skiing conditions. It's beautiful bluebird day. And you got to love it, even though you have to go back to Connecticut. You having a good time? Absolutely. Yep. This is the way to do it right here. This is the way to do it. I love the fact that you guys are uh, tailgating out here on the road. That makes it a lot of fun. And uh, were you out there on the hill as well? Yes. Yep. Do we ski? Do we ski? I ski. We do. I do. All right. So uh, I'm gonna make my way around the group. I wanna. I wanna get everybody. I wanna get everybody in. So, uh, oh, there we go. I see you right there. This is Pam. It's nice when you have. Uh, it's nice when you have name tags on. That's always helpful. Pam, uh, are we enjoying ourselves? Very much. So, how many? Uh, how often do you get out here to uh, to Killington to ski? A lot. A lot. A lot is uh, great. I try to get out as much as I can. Um, I didn't get, we're going to do some skiing a little bit later. I heard you guys talking about Bear. You guys were over at Bear earlier? Earlier, yeah. So we got Bear Mountain. I heard you say that uh, you guys went over there and then you did the shuttle. Is that right? Yeah, we shuttled. We, we parked here in the morning because we need a prime real estate for hanging out. And then we take the shuttle over. It's a great setup what they're doing this year. It's like, this is great. So we spent the morning at Bear and, and skiing is really good over here. It's like like soft bump skiing and uh, you know we have an old saying around here it's like the only thing better than a spring day is a powder day that's how much we love the spring the spring is good I, I love it over there bear is a great thing I like that uh, you guys that's a great thing I mean we'll try to keep this a secret okay that you park here first and then you get your spot and then you go over to bear okay we're just shh, we're just gonna keep this we're, we're just gonna keep we're just gonna keep this a little secret just between us and the folks out there in uh, TV land. Now uh, you're from Connecticut too? Yes, I am. Yeah, Waterbury. Waterbury. I know Waterbury well. I got some uh, friends down there in the Meriden area. That's close to you guys uh, right there. So uh, then we're gonna move our way over to. Sorry. There we go. Dan. All right. So uh, yeah. What do we call? You can call me Hagman. Hagman. All right. I like it. They call me Hagwood. They call you what? You can call me Hagwood today. Hagwood. We got Hagwood. I'm hanging out with Hagwood here. And uh, where are we from, Hagwood? New York. Of course. New York. Yeah, but where else? <laughs> <laughs> where else exactly? You guys got a pretty diverse group. We got Connecticut. We got Massachusetts. Now we got New York. We're covering it all. Uh, are we enjoying ourselves on the hill? It's fantastic. It's, it's fun. It's therapy. It's relaxed. It's everything all rolled into one. And when those bumps over, uh, oh, well, we're getting semi-mashed potatoes this morning. Oh, that was fantastic. Are you, are, you, are you a bump skier? I try to be. Yeah, I try. Yeah. All right. I like it all. I like the powder. I like the trees. It's all good. It is all good. That's what we love about Killington. We got, we got a lot to offer here. It's uh, spring conditions. It's great. There's skiing. There's riding. There's bumps. There's mashed potatoes. There's a, little bit of, uh, there's a little bit of everything. I'm making my way to the last member of the group, and uh, you are? Brian. And Brian, you're labeled today. You're not, you're not labeled. Uh, we, got a, we, got a we got a regular pass. We're not, we're not positive that this is Brian, but uh, we're, uh, we're hoping he is. And uh, Brian, where are you from? Rochester, Massachusetts. Rochester, Mass. So I'm a, uh, I'm a Red Sox fan. I didn't talk to you about that, uh, Hagwood, because I figure you're not a Red Sox fan. But are you a Red Sox fan? Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're hanging out with some Sox fans here. Uh, and, well, and a Yankee fan, but we won't talk about that. But uh, we're hanging out with some folks that are having a great time tailgating. Did you enjoy yourself on the hill? Yeah, we had a great morning over at Bear. So that's what you kids got to do. You guys got to get here, do some tailgating. Do some skiing, and then do some more ta and then do some more tailgating, folks. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Hey, welcome back. We are here in the K1 parking lot with Lawn Chair Larry, who I've just deemed you that. I hope you don't mind the the nickname. That's okay. Okay, cool. Lawn Chair Larry, 
hanging out, lounging, and um, I just noticed that your boots actually match your chair. Is that on purpose? No, that's by accident. Totally accident, but it, it works really well. Yeah, thanks. And you said that you uh, actually live in Bridgewater, so you're kind of a local. Yep, oh. yep. Okay. I've been skiing here for about 32 years okay. from Massachusetts. I bought a house up here maybe 20 years ago, 21 years ago. Nice. No regrets on that purchase, I'm sure, because it's such an amazing lifestyle, as uh, you guys can see. I mean, you look like one of the most relaxed and serene people, I think, on the mountain today. Thanks. Absolutely. Yeah, just chilling after morning at Bear Mountain. Okay. How was it over there? It was awesome over there. It's a little hot over here, a little firm still, but still nice. Got to whip out the shorts, get the legs out, a little tan going on. Yep, starting the early summer tan. Definitely. Definitely necessary. Now, um, this is definitely, I think, the epitome of a bluebird day. Now, nice. some people don't know what bluebird is. It's like a blue skies, beautiful conditions, absolutely amazing, sunny, awesome. What do you? What, what's bluebird to you? Today. 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 I like that. Yep, it's awesome out today. Really nice. Not too hot. I didn't sweat as much today as yesterday. Good. Didn't have to whip out the second layer of deodorant. Yep. Okay. But now. I did have to take a shower. Well, that's, sometimes that's a good thing. Who knows? Uh, yeah. Don't wash the hair every day, though. It's not good. It takes out the natural oils. So. That's right. Yes. That's you know that, I'm sure. Yep. Yep. <laughs> now, what are the plans for after this lounging? Are you, you going to lounge here much longer? What do you think is going to happen uh, after? I'm ready to head right back up and do some more skiing. A couple more hours of skiing. So you're not done. You're, you're ready no. to go. You're just taking a quick just break. Chilling. Just chilling. Chilling. Going to take some more runs. Yep. You mind if I join you? Nope. We are at K1 Umbrella Bar in Killington, and we wanted to tell you guys a little bit about an event that you may know about, perhaps not. It is the pond skimming event going down this April, and it is going to be insane. It is some of the craziest skiers and riders in the area decide to skim across a freezing cold pond and uh, perhaps win, get cheered on, get splashed, and uh, just have an amazing time. And I know you know a lot about the event because you've participated, I've been told. Couple times. I, uh, I I used to uh, judge the event. Uh, I've never made my way across the pond yet. I, I'm going to make it away. The rumors are not true. I, I'm going to make it across at some point, but uh, I know that I would probably just sink right in the middle. But I've seen the event, and uh, I think it's great. It's on April Fool's Day this year, so that is no joke, kids. It is happening on Sunday, April 1st. But uh, it's great. People dress up really crazy. Some guys will just uh, wear these, use these long pontoon skis and they will just zip across that thing in like five seconds and then they'll still be going down the hill. But my favorite participant is the person that dresses all crazy. I've seen people dress like Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman. I've seen uh, Sponge, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. I've seen a SpongeBob out there. I've seen everything. So it's really fun. There's 100 people can join. Anyone can join. It's 10 bucks. But you got to get here early on Sunday, April 1st to do it. But right, it's just a lot of fun. Exact. 10 a.m. And then they have the event. It's right over here on uh, Superstar at the bottom. And it, it is a blast, kids. You definitely want to check it out. And uh, who knows? I mean, maybe uh, maybe Kate and I will uh, will be in it this year. We might be out there. And if not, we'll be judging because yeah. naturally that's just what we do. It's going to be an amazing time. Like Dave said, you're going to see some really funny stuff. Of course, it takes some talent to uh, skim across a pond like that. But it takes even more talent to dress up, look good and do it and uh, we've been told that it's rated by cheer skimming itself and costume and like we said costumes are definitely encouraged and there's also big splash it, it's there's, splash. Like, there's like big it's splash. splash like if you make a big splash not only in what not you're wearing figuratively, yes, if you make literally. a big splash you can win a prize as well because there's all kinds of categories it's fun stuff so many opportunities for that and uh, for us to have a good laugh so we'll definitely see you guys there it's going to be april 1st registration starts at 10 a.m and uh, we hope to see you guys there so check it out